We're going to have another guest. We're going to have another guest. (laughs) Hey, if you can watercolor and hang out with your cat, go for it. Yeah. (laughs) Awesome. Well, welcome, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. This is Watercolor Swatch Party, uh, brought to you by Watercolor Snacks. Um, We'll wait a couple more seconds for others to join us. Sure. Feel free to drop in the chat where you are watching from. I'm always so curious to see who we can reach around the world. That's always very exciting. Um, And then let me get my features ready here so I can see the chat. Awesome. Okay. Hello, Amelia. Hello. Um, Awesome. So while everyone is sort of getting situated, I am just going to introduce what, who you are, what's going on here tonight. This is watercolor swatch party. We had a great ephemera hour a couple weeks ago and we thought we'd bring it back, but with watercolor. So this is the watercolor swatch party and I am one of the hosts. I'm Sarah, I'm co-founder of Art Snacks and I am with the one and only Brie, also known as Dread Pirate Brie, here on this live stream. Hello. Um, She is our uh, resident artist for Watercolor Snacks, our quarterly subscription that is solely based around the art of watercolor. Um, And she's a watercolorist. Brie, where are you watching from or participating from? So I reside in Washington State, western side of Washington, where it is rainy most of the time. So lots of water to add to the watercolor. <laughs> Definitely sets the mood. Yes. I, I prefer the rainy weather, honestly. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad you can join us here tonight, um, even though it's like daytime here for both of us. <laughs> yeah. 7 p.m. and the on the East Coast, the sun is definitely not setting anytime soon. So um, just want to go over what we're going to be doing at the swatch party today. Um, so if you've got your watercolors at home, you're watching. Awesome. We encourage live swatching while we are chatting. Um, we're going to talk about all things watercolors, some of our favorite brands, um, maybe a color palette or two that we're loving these days. And, um, just sort of going back and forth about, um, you know, what we love about watercolor and some of our best practices and maybe some tricks here and there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we'll talk about the next watercolor snacks box, which is the carnival box. So you will get a peek at that tonight as well. And then we'll open it up to you all that are watching. If you have questions, you can drop them in the chat. We may get to them while we're chatting here. Um, but if not, save them for the end. We will absolutely have time for questions at the end. Um, so why don't we get into it? Um, mm-hmm. What we're going to do is um, you're going to see a lot of just our hands today um, while we swatch out some watercolors and just have some fun. So um, I'm going to take a second to just turn my camera around. I will do the same. The my here's my ceiling and here is my surface let me just get it situated i'm using one of my new like stands for overhead recording yeah <laughs> that makes any sense um so i just want to get it situated okay cool so you see some paint Brie, I'm going to hand it to you first um, to sort of kick us off in this watercolor conversation because you are an established watercolorist. I am more of a novice. So (laughs) I want to hear from you first. What brands are you loving? Is there any colors you're favoriting? Talk to me. All right. So, yes, there are um, lots of brands that I love. Um, I've narrowed it down to three. I picked my top favorite three brands. Um, Excellent. (laughs) The first up, and I just grabbed my whole collection here, um, is Sennelier. Um, And I say this because if you don't know my story, (laughs) yes, if you don't know my story, um, Sennelier watercolors were the first, like, real artist grade watercolors I'd ever worked with. And I like had a very small collection. It's grown quite a bit, but um, Mm -hmm. I had a very small selection that I got through an art snacks box and I've been in love with it. And so it's been a, a a tried favorite. Like I've got lots of favorites, but the Sennelier is (gasps) one of my all time favorites. It's so 
like well loved and worked in. Yes. Oh um, my goodness. Yeah, I love it so much. And I got to add the um, gemstone palette to this because these are also Sennelier. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just kind of goes with the family now. <laughs> so um, they're really good. They're just super vibrant and really rich and creamy. And I love them so much. There's lots of different colors. I find that the, uh, I think it's the Chinese orange is my favorite. Ooh, my favorite color. We have, a, we have a favorite color. Nice. Yes, do. I found that it is, um, I'm trying to find it because I love it so much and I'm hoping it didn't just like disappear, but I, I love it. Absolutely love it. I have illustrated an entire children's book with that color being the main color. <laughs> nice. So walk me through here for a moment. I'm seeing that you're pulling out tubes, but you're also working in pans. Yes. So actually my favorite is um, two. So you have water, uh, pan watercolors, uh, which are like these ones. These ones actually came as half pans. Then you've got okay. two watercolors. And then, you know, we there are liquid watercolors. But my favorite are tubes. And the reason for that being I can do both. I can have tube watercolor that I can like squeeze wherever I want. But then I can also squeeze them into these little half pans. You can buy them in bulk on Amazon or something. Oh. And then they dry. And that's actually how I have this palette here is I, I just squeezed colors into these little half pans and let them dry. Oh, okay. Um, have you had to refill any of those yet or are you still working on them? Um, I think I think that the this Payne's Gray actually needs some love right there because I can actually reach the bottom of the pan and I, oh, yeah. I find that, I mean, there's still stuff in there, but it definitely can use some love. <laughs> oh, and I see that you've labeled the side of them too. That I is do. so meticulous. <laughs> I actually have a key for every brand um, because I can't write Sennelier and, and all like mm -hmm. Daniel Smith on all of them. So I have a key for every brand. Uh, and this lets me know like, oh, it's Payne's Gray, but it's the Sennelier because not all watercolors are equal. Like uh, different brands will will have different results at times. Oh, interesting. So yeah. did you find your favorite orange? I did. There Aww. we go. I love there it, it so much. Can you it's give us a little lovely. swatch of that? Yes, I can. Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and give a swatch um, just on uh, – like from the palette here because it's already it's already out there. We don't need to add like squeeze out more. Awesome. And while you are swatching that, um, I am gonna swatch out um, a color that I have been loving. Um, while you're on the Sennelier kick, I've been on a Daniel Smith kick. Ooh. And a couple months ago, everyone got the um, Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, that's um, a good one. What is this? The like an aquamarine? I've just been calling it Sleeping Beauty, and I just this is what the color I think of when I think of Sleeping Beauty. So that's awesome. <laughs> um, so I have been loving this one. I actually this is actually a um, I have well, long story short, I have like three Sleeping Beauty pans just because you know when you first discover the color, and Daniel Smith reaches out to Art Snacks, you know we got to test the product and right. really make sure that it's something that goes along with all the other products in the box. So. I have a couple of these lying around, so I just pulled out this new one, and it is just so delightful. It's a beautiful color. I don't know where I placed mine. I need to track it down. I think I put it in one of my drawers. Well, somewhere. if you need if you need one, <laughs> okay. I have plenty, and I actually okay. think there's some in the Art Snack shop as well. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Can we get a close up of your orange? Oh yes. Nice. It's like the perfect orange. I've found that I'm very particular when it comes to my oranges. And this one is just, I haven't found another orange in another brand that I like more than this one. So this is like the reigning orange for me. Nice. And it looks so like consistent, you know, like yeah. having it come from uh, a tube. It's deceiving because they're all in pans, but. Right, right. <laughs> No, it's, um, it's really good. Yeah. So here is Sleeping Beauty. It's still very, very wet right now. Um, but I'm using a, um, I think this is the Canson Loacrel, like the heritage paper. Okay. The, that's a good, that's a good paper right there. Yeah. It's very textured. You can like very obviously see that it is watercolor. Yes. Um, so that is 
pretty cool to me. Um, we, I have so many of these little cards back in the day, back I, in the you know early what? art snacks day. Do you still have some of I these? I do. I do. <laughs> you sent them to me when we were doing events and now yes. I have them. <laughs> All right. Here's the pro here's the first pro tip of the night. Um, so back in the day, early art snacks, we used to send paper samples in all of our boxes. And um, after we stopped doing that, we launched Art Snacks Plus, um, where you got full size paper. So we had our warehouse cut up the Heritage Canson paper, and they cut up like way too many. So I had the warehouse ship them to my studio, and then I had way too many. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just been like sending them around to all these artists that I know. So it's like, if we're like in a club, Brie, like if you know, yeah. you know. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, so the pro tip that I wanted to share is it's wonderful to have these on hand if you want to do some quick swatching. Um, they're like, it's just like a deck of cards. I keep these in a drawer. I have plenty more than just these. So if you get a, a pad of paper that you just don't feel like using in a pad, um, you can just cut it up into small pieces and hold it for swatching, hold it for notes, anything like that. Um, I find it super useful to have around. So on that side, on that note, I actually have a system like that in place. Anytime I have scraps of paper or a swatch page that just needs to be recycled, I will actually cut them <gasps> up and put them in, this lives in my drawer. And oh I have God. like mixed media, black paper, craft paper, marker paper, watercolor paper. These ones don't fit, unfortunately, but I have those <laughs> near this. So this is a really great way to use all your paper possible mm -hmm. when watching. That is a great idea. And I love that you just whipped out this like fancy <laughs> box for scraps. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, what, what's the point if it's not aesthetic, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Quote of the night. What's the point if it's not aesthetic? Right. Um, awesome. So let's, uh, okay. So we swatched out our favorite colors that we're loving right now. Yes. Is there a color combo? Is there a palette that you're loving right now? Show us what you're, th what you're feeling right now. Oh my. Okay. So I'm leaning towards like muted colors these days. Mm -hmm. Um, so that actually leads me to like a second brand that I absolutely love. Absolutely love it is the, um, Kuretake Ganzai Tambi. Nice. And I had recently treated myself over the winter to, uh, their Art Nouveau set because it's got these kind of more muted tones to it. Ooh. And so it's got like mauve colors and like earthy greens and browns and whatnot. And it's just kind of right up my alley. So I, I honestly really love like this mauve purple and that dusty pink. Mm -hmm. And then like all three of these greens are just fabulous. They're just beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. So you know what that means. Yeah. We're going to swatch it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to swatch it. You don't I'm, have to ask me twice. I'm so happy that you brought up muted colors. Um, and uh, for everyone watching, we absolutely did not review colors or color palettes or everything like I have a loose agenda but Brie I have to tell you uh -huh. the color palette that I brought tonight to share is so similar what <laughs> to what you're demonstrating right now oh my gosh um so my color palette that I brought to share tonight um for those of you who don't know I am getting married next year so I'm like very deep into wedding planning so you're all up in the color palettes and so I am very much in the color palettes and I wanted to share the colors that will be present at my wedding. Oh, I love that. And the minute you said <laughs> like a muted palette with like a mauve, this is supposed to be like a maroon. Um, this is the buff titanium. I've been using a lot of Daniel Smith, still mm -hmm. on that Daniel Smith kick. Um, and it's just so funny that you're like also pulling colors <laughs> at I've been using. Yes. So I swatched these out, but I want to, I want to play with them a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and I have pre squeezed, uh, watercolors on a palette. Nice. So I have just been squeezing the, um, the tubes onto, um, just a plastic palette and then I cover it with, um, plastic wrap after. So it stays protected. 
Um, but everything has like a little bit of buff titanium in it, mm-hmm. which I'm really That's excited about. Color. Yeah. And I'm sort of going off of, I'm going to butcher this word. Wow. Um, pime, pimeonite genuine. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> if anybody else knows how to pronounce that, let me know. Um, and then I've also been using um, phthalo blue turquoise. Oh, that's a so, good one. That's yeah. Really so this is one. sort of like my base here with like a little bit of, um, um, actually, no, I'm not using that one. And I'm not using titanium white. So it's basically like these three that I'm really loving. That's awesome. I love the color palette that you've selected right there. It's gorgeous. Thank you. I'm yeah. so happy. Very exciting. So yeah, now that I'm looking at yours... I'm inspired. Oh yes. Oh yes. I I've just I love I I love the bright colors. So here's the thing with with watercolors, bright colors, you can always mute them down. You just have to mix them and you just that comes with knowing your color palette, knowing your colors. But mm -hmm. I really just love straight muted deep moody colors. I just I love moody colors. Yes. Very much. And so I've been trying to acquire more of those in my stash because I just love being able to pull of like a, a dusty pink or a mauve tone. Yeah. That's awesome. And I'm, I'm, I mean, I've been mixing colors, but you have a palette that just says it all. So that's pretty awesome. Yes. It's not as common. Uh, I think it's becoming more common now as, mm -hmm. you know, watercolor companies are, are like kind of branching out to kind of figuring out like new ideas and stuff, which I appreciate, but I definitely always lean more to these like, I, I, I don't want to call them mute, like too much muted because I still like vibrancy, but I like moody. I like moody tones. I think moody is a really great way to describe yes. it. Um, it sort of reminds me of um, another back in the day art snacks situation when we were um, doing, uh, we were introducing Liquitex for the first time. I think this was oh. like a, like a 2014 box, 2014 or 2015. And um we debuted their muted collection of heavy body acrylics in one of our boxes. I remember that box. You remember that? I think, yeah. I think it was actually April of 2017. How do you remember that? <laughs> because I remember using that muted, I had like a muted violet or a muted pink. Uh -huh. No, I used muted violet, uh, heavy body. And I think they came with marabou art crayons. At the same time, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's been long enough. I'm starting to doubt my memory. But I remember because I drew an Art Snacks mermaid. She was a hipster mermaid eating like a pretzel, which was the Art Snacks <laughs> pretzel. And I remember it was one of the ones you guys featured. Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. I have, <laughs> oh, I've curated so many boxes in my lifetime at this point that I'm yeah. like, I have no clue. Yeah. But that's hilarious that you remember that. I'm, pr I'm pretty close. I know it was 2017. I do know that. Yeah. 2017, yeah. I think was a good year because it was like yeah. finally being introduced to a lot of different brands that we haven't featured yet. And we were feeling nice. really good about it. That's awesome. So here's like the two base oh, colors. I love that, 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 I, that whatever, we're, whatever paint that we butchered, you butchered the name for. I love that color. <laughs> Um, Goodness. if anybody wants to phonetically write this for me in the chat, Pimon Pimonti? Pimonite? Pimonite? Genuine? Something like that. Um, if any of my bridesmaids are watching, <laughs> you don't know this yet, but these are the color dresses that we're working on. So, um, there just, you uh, go. FYI, I, I don't think any, any of my bridesmaids are watching it, but, um, yeah, I'm just glad that I was able to craft the colors. And then, you know what? I'll send a photo of this to my bridesmaids. We'll figure it out. There you go. I actually, uh, whenever I got married, I, I got paint chips according to the colors. And I cut them out. And I like I put them on. I, I glued them onto a bookmark or whatever. And I was like, here is the wedding colors. Here's the color you need to find something in. Oh, that's smart. I should just go to... Um, you could like just a, watch, yeah. You could just swatch them out and just send them. It's like, here you go. Here's your color. That's Find a great. Dress. Yeah. Um, my next color is the buff titanium, but it's like super light. Buff titanium. That's a good one. 
Yeah. It is super light, but it's, it's such a good color to have for like mix. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I work so hard when I need like a parchment color or like a cream color for like a cream blouse or like mm-hmm. paper or something like that. I always have to mix it by hand and it's so meticulous. And so having titanium buff is just perfect. Yeah. It's, and it, yeah. it the, the tough thing is like, I'm really good at making it look muddy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's not hard to do. Yeah, it's a fine so, line between perfect and muddy, and it's it's very hard. It's very hard. I'm um, trying not to do that. <laughs> um, so I saw you swatching a couple other colors. What else yeah. you got going on there? So I was just kind of swatching colors that that I was excited about, like the blues and the teals and stuff like that, and like even those colors. The other thing is getting super pale colors, like this really pale blue right here. That's mm, also yeah. really hard to find sometimes. Um, they've got like the same thing with the pink up here. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of swatching it. And blues and browns look super good. This actually looks like a whole beach palette right here. But I will say that orange, top notch. That's That might be com- com- uh, comparable to the Chinese orange from my Sennelier. I was just thinking that. It does yeah. look very comparable. <laughs> it does look very comparable. So that's good to know that it's like, cool, I have like a very travel friendly uh, pan ready to go. And now here we're just like kind of swatching the last colors up in the top. It really does feel like a beach palette. It does. It It really does. And then this one feels very, like very floral. I unfortunately have been so busy. I haven't actually had a chance to sit down and work with this palette other than just swatching. So it's on my list of things to do. Nice. Me excited. I love that. Awesome. All right. Well, I brought in the teal. Ooh. Um, it is a mix of uh, phalo blue turquoise and buff titanium. Oh, nice. Just like a, like a not even like a like a swipe of buff titanium. Yeah. Not that yeah. much. But um, it's just enough to mute it because there is pigment in the buff titanium that kind of lightens it a bit. Exactly. So like my wedding website and my invitations are going to be this like teal color. Nice. Um, yee, I'm so excited about it. That's beautiful. I love it. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to set those aside for a moment and I actually want to pull out a wild card here. Oh, okay. Um, I have really been loving the Stabilo Woodies. Those are so fun for watercolors. <laughs> <laughs> They're a wild card because you look at these and you're like, huh? How does that feel this watercolor? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I want to share um, a little bit of my testing process when I was testing product. Um, so the Woodies were featured in, I believe, the January box. Um, I think we still have some of these left in the art snack shop. It's the Woody three in one and you can use it three different ways. Um, but long story short, it's water soluble and you can use it as a colored pencil, a crayon or, um, hitting it with water. So I love these. They're just fun to like hold and to have around. I feel Um, like that's like the perfect medium for a mixed media artist using watercolor. Yes. It's kind of perfect. (laughs) Yeah, I absolutely agree. So um, when I curate boxes, I literally just like go crazy and test the product as much as I can. Um, So all of these are just like splotches of the the woodies, just like testing them out. Yeah. I've got some more over here. It works really well. This is like, um, I think this was, the black is like the Tombow mono twin marker it's Mm -hmm. like a permanent marker okay works really well with it so I wanted to just show this like really fun experiment sort of in the style of um James Burke (laughs) oh yes yes you know the way that he tests everything so I want to play with these a little bit okay oh and you have some too well I have some but actually my go-to as far as wild card is actually the Karin Dosh neocolor pencils Neo color crayons. These are my guilty pleasure. These are my go to. <laughs> Absolutely love them. Guilty pleasure art supplies. Guilty pleasure art supplies. Oops. Kind of I love that. 
but no, these are these are some of my favorite. This is definitely not all the colors I have, just the ones I have available in front of me right now. Oh, I've never actually it. tried them on paper on watercolor paper, I don't think. Oh, what do you usually use them on? Um, I don't I usually use them on mixed media paper. I don't really use them just by themselves. Ah. Except I did once and I, I, they actually work fantastic on the um what is it? The tan tone paper, like the tan tone mixed media paper by Oh, uh -huh. um, the Fabriano? Yes, I think I have I think I have a, a test in here. Oh, feel free to show off. Yeah. I am just having so much fun. I also just picked up this new brush. It's like a dagger. Oh, the brush. dagger brush. Is okay. What are we looking yeah. at? So I was practicing uh, some faces from another artist, and I but the coloring was kind of my own. And mm -hmm. I was using just these Neo Color pencils uh, or crayons. Sorry, they're crayons on there. And you can like, because it's a mixed media, you can get a really, really smooth, creamy consistency and they blend really well together. I had to use like very minimal water when activating it because it was just so pigmented, but wow. it creates this beautiful pastel effect. And then I went over it with like some, I think it was like the, uh, the paintbrush, um, paint marker by Posca. There we go. The Posca paintbrush. <laughs> I was going to say, there's only a couple there's so options many there. brands. Yeah, there's so many brands. And I was like, so I'm using Pentel. Nope, that's not the right one. <laughs> so yeah, I, I love them. This is just purely the these with just like some ink and uh, ink detailing. But it's wow. the all color. They're so vibrant. I love them. I feel like we're seeing like behind the scenes of like Bree's thought process when we look <laughs> at that page. <laughs> yes. Well, it was just, it's just, uh, studies. Um, but yes, it's, it, I mean, we all have to practice if we're going to get better. We all have to practice. Exactly. But you know, we don't see the practice, you know, we just yeah. see all of your final pieces on Instagram and then yes. <laughs> we don't know what goes on, goes into it. Yeah. That's awesome. Ooh. Yeah. And the, I, I've Ooh. used those before. They're fantastic for blending. Yeah, I love the Woodies, but nothing can really take me away from these ones. I I love these ones so much, mm. and they ha they're really great for travel because I mean, not traveling to the desert. I'm gonna say if you're traveling somewhere hot, don't travel to the de don't travel with these. But oh, do they melt easily? I I would suspect. I mean, I'm from <laughs> Arizona where everything melted, so I just wouldn't take it the chance. But mm. uh. These are these are really great. You can just use them in a variety of of ways. Absolutely fair. Yeah, that's when when you're going to Arizona, you're gonna to want to bring that pan. Yes, you want to bring set. dry media, so like dried watercolors in pans. Yeah, definitely. This is like very relaxing. I know it's so <laughs> so enjoyable. Oh yeah. Um, so I guess that'll be like my next pro tip, uh, to share is, um, not all watercolors are tubes and pans. Yes. You gotta experiment a little bit with water soluble pencils. There's water soluble markers. Um, Bree's written about water soluble markers all over Arts Next Mix. So you are a seasoned pro. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I've gotten introduced to a lot of the markers that I use nowadays uh, from Art Snacks. I think all of them, honestly. I don't think I really dabbled in the world of, of markers prior to Art Snacks. Really? Oh, that's so interesting. I didn't, I look back, like, it's so weird. I have to look back at where my art journey was uh, before subscribing, because I was a subscriber to Art Snacks for a year before joining the Ambassadors Program. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to remember life before that. Like, I had a... I, I, I bought a watercolor palette. I had no idea about Windsor and Newton, but here's my very first watercolor palette that I ever, I ever <gasps> got. Oh my gosh. This is like a classic Windsor and Newton Cotman. Ah, and it's giving me trouble. It's, it's, it doesn't want to be seen. It's embarrassed. It's like, no, it's, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't know how to really use watercolor swords. And I recently just wiped off all of the palettes because they were like peeling. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the paint was peeling and I'm like, you know what? It's been so long. I would like to be able to use this if I want, if I feel inspired to. Um, so it doesn't look as well loved as it could. I mean, you can definitely see some of these. They're definitely well loved. Oh, totally. Um, but I didn't know how to do watercolor at the time. So I kind of was just aimless about it. I didn't really know what I was doing. I could now come back and use this and use it like a pro. But this was my very first watercolor palette that I ever got. And I hold on to it for that reason because this was my my very first one. But prior to Art Snacks, my art supply stash was sad. <laughs> it was sad. Oh, my it gosh. It was sad. Yeah, well, I th I think about the um, you know, us using the Daniel Smith watercolors. And, oh yeah, uh, the <clears throat> Ganzai Tambi. Um, I think the Cotman are they're not bad. They're great if you are just trying to uh, get into the world of watercolor. But oh, I yeah. do find that they're a little bit lower on the quality side. Oh yeah. Um, so it's nice to be you know reintroduced to like all these other brands through our that's been helpful i'm sure oh definitely um they were even even whenever i was st so right before i joined War art snacks mm -hmm. uh my boyfriend at the time i married him later on uh <laughs> he actually bought me all the cotman watercolor tubes and um so i could you know use them and and get used to them and stuff so i've definitely like, I don't use them for my personal work anymore. There's nothing wrong with them. They're really great watercolors. I just mm -hmm. have other ones that I love more. Um, right. So I definitely don't use the Cotman as much. Um, another favorite is the Core watercolors. I want to see if I still have my original, original. This was the first set. I bought the High Chroma set. Oh, my gosh. I love that. Just the, I know. forget just the, the tubes. Just, just looking this. at that is so <laughs> pleasing. Yes. I love so much uh, core watercolors because they are so vibrant. Um, th my favorite has got to be, where is it? I think it's Quidacridone Gold. It is. It is. I think this, I want to say that I've already gone through a tube of it, but the Quidacridone Gold is my favorite. Um, it's this, this was actually the paints that taught me the quality matters when I'm working because I had, I'd mix these in with all my other watercolors, you know, cheapy ones. And when I was mm -hmm. painting, I found that I was always just gravitating towards the, my, my few selection that I had that were higher quality because they did what I wanted them to. And right. that's when I knew I was like, Oh, okay. So what you use matters. <laughs> Another pro tip of the night. Yes. Quality think, matters. Yes, it definitely does. You can still, you can make anything work but quality matters. I think this is very comparable to the Chinese orange, honestly, but it just, it fans out into this gorgeous gold. Love, Love it. Mm -hmm. oh, look at that. A bookmark. Easy. Yes, exactly. We're going to add Done. another color just to, just to round it out, but I'm going to do some magenta here. I've never I've cleaned this. This is from the original unboxing of it and using it. And I just, it's been so so wonderful ever since. I love that. I'm just sort of making some squiggles and seeing how I can blend. I never think about, you know, blending the, the woody pencils. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just sort of getting some practice in tonight. Um, where are we at for time? Okay. I would say um, let's move a little bit closer to our next segment yeah. of tonight's swatch party, okay. which is the next watercolor snacks box. Woohoo! Yeah. So, um, if, for those of you who are watching, if you don't know what watercolor snacks is, it's a quarterly subscription for all things watercolor. And every quarter we come out with a totally new color palette that Brie has curated for us. So, We've been talking about it all month, basically. <laughs> this awesome color palette around the theme of carnival. So Brie is going to do a live swatch here. Ooh, oh my gosh. Yeah. We well, pre-swatched swatch everything. Card. Yeah, I pre-swatched <laughs> this a while ago uh, because whenever you are subscribed to Watercolor Snacks, you also kind of get a little bit of a sneak peek before the public does. Exactly. Um, so that was the original swatch. Um, but I've got them all made out here. Oh, they're so pretty. I know. <laughs> Didn't give them a good shake real quick. Can I activate them? Yeah. I feel like they're, they're like, this is your superpower. Activate watercolor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Exactly. Uh, there actually is a comic out there about a young girl whose superpower is handling paints. And it's and, like, and is it based around your life? <laughs> no, it's not my life, but it's, it's an artist I very much admire. And I'm like, you know what? This is pretty epic. Where was this when I was a kid? Like, come on. Right. We needed those idols when we were young. Right. <laughs> Too funny. Ooh, oh, yeah. it's so bright. It is. It is vibrant. Like liquid watercolors. You've got to think about it. You are dealing with just pure pigment kind of thing. And it's, super vibrant so you're getting a super concentrated mix so a little tiny bit goes such a long way mm. um i have my swatch card from when i did the photo shoot um, but this is an old swatch card because one of these colors is not the right color <laughs> <laughs> i was sent the wrong colors from schminky um so that was um a little bit of a hurdle to get over but um I was able, this is the old one. I don't know where the new one is, but um, yeah. So my swatch card looks very different from yours, but that's okay. I, I think this is the color that is different. And it I is. think it's the one that you're using. Yes. It's, uh, it was supposed to be amethyst violet and it came out to be some other color. <laughs> <laughs> some other weird color. That some other color. I mean, it's like beautiful, but it doesn't, it doesn't go with what we planned. I think I pointed that out to you. It's like, hold on. This color does, is not like the others. <laughs> <laughs> One of these colors is not like the others. Exactly. Exactly. So what for these, I definitely add water before using them. You can use them straight out if you want, but I, I like to have a bit of more control. So in order to do that, I definitely add water to it. It's so bright. I love that. And I just want to point it out to anybody that hasn't, you know, followed me for a long time. I purposely chose a lemon yellow, <laughs> not a gold <laughs> yellow, a lemon yellow. So it can be done. I don't like it, but it can be done. And not to be confused with highlighter yellow. Correct. Well, this it is, is basically lemon. a highlighter. This is basically a highlighter yellow. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but you can get a totally different color when you water it down. So. Oh, absolutely. You can get a totally different color whenever you blend it, too. Like, mm -hmm. you added orange to this right now. You start to get a different, a different tone there. So pretty. The color combinations are pretty much endless with any type of watercolor. I love, okay, so the, here's a fun thing about liquid watercolor. I love because you can kind of, you can mix them just by just directly pulling from the dropper and popping it in. So you can do like a combination. Um, I actually have a book at my desk that I mm -hmm. record combinations when I'm mixing ink because I want to be able to find that combination again. Oh, that's really smart. Yeah. So, and it's, it's in a very aesthetic book and everything. And it's, it's how I can record that. So this way I know like, okay, I want this very particular pink tone. So how did I get that? I added two drops of this and one drop of this and, mm. and then this many drops of water or something. It sounds like you're like either cooking in the kitchen or in a science lab. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm just like, this just feels like Harry Potter goes to art school or something. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter goes to art school. Could you imagine? That'd be amazing. That'd be wonderful. Um, so next pro tip of the night is if you've got a color combo that you're really loving, mm -hmm. um, write it down. Hold on to it. Yeah. Put it in your favorite notebook because if you have it in a notebook that you love, that you just look is so pretty and it's so fun, then it is inspiring to reach for that notebook to write down or even recall a, a color combination. Totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that violet, this is definitely not violet. Yeah, no, it's not violet at all. So it's watercolor a beautiful snackers, color. <laughs> watercolor snackers that are watching, this is not the color. Yeah, that's <laughs> not the color. This is the color. Exactly. And so speaking of, I'm actually going to uh, add a couple, try mixing them just a little bit. Oh, nice. Yeah, by having this well, this well palette right here, it allows me to kind of retain the color wheel aspect, mm -hmm. which I like. I like working in the color wheel 
I, I can retain a lot more and it allows me to get more familiar with oops, the, the colors that I'm using. That's also pretty smart. Yeah. Um, while you are doing that, I am going to show off another product that's going to be in the watercolor snacks box. Ooh. We have the Viarco Art Graph water soluble pencil. Ooh. I, so this is a 2B. And I can confirm that's one of my favorites. That's one of my favorite as far as like watercolor graphite pencils go, because I've, I've used a couple. That's one mm -hmm. of my favorites. So this is water soluble graphite. It'll be in the next watercolor snacks box. And while we're swatching, I just want to let everyone know if you're not subscribed to watercolor snacks, there's still time to get this color palette. This is the carnival set. Um, just go to uh, watercolorsnacks.com. <laughs> yeah. Watercolor <laughs> or you can go to artsnacks.co and um, right on the homepage, it's one of the options to uh, subscribe uh, to watercolor snacks. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I love this. It's so pretty. I can't believe it was graphite. Yeah, it just like dissolved so perfectly. That's amazing. I love this. Um, and with every uh, quarter, per se, um, mm -hmm. Brie is uh, teaching uh, three to four classes with every box. So when you subscribe, You'll get access to a private mix group on Arts and Acts Mix, and all of the live streams will be posted there. Uh, well, the recordings will be posted there, but you can join Brie live uh, through Zoom, where she'll demo all of the colors, all the products, and we'll do a couple projects. So yeah. we don't we don't leave you hanging every quarter. If you're if oh, you're yeah. looking for inspiration, you can just join the live stream. And I also, in between the live streams, I, I share a lot of written tutorials with step-by-step -step images as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have plenty to be working on in the downtimes. Exactly. Yeah. A quarter can feel like a long time if you're just like looking for info, looking for inspiration. Okay. I just, I just watched the colors that I mixed and I just did one to one of each mm -hmm. color, but like we basically just like doubled the palette right there. <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh. I that. love that red. Yeah. It, it's, it's red. I like that's straight up red right there. I didn't think that red was going to be in this palette at all. And it's straight up red. We can I make our own red, <laughs> which is the sentence you never hear said because you can't technically make red, but it, we can make a faux red. We made a faux red, a faux red. The yes. opportunities are endless. Yes. I'm I'm actually really in love with this um this really deep blue right here. Mm -hmm. That's probably one of my favorites. That's really pretty. Yeah. So here's a, just another close up. Um have you ever tried erasing this once it's dried because it's You know I think I have. I think it it definitely I mean it lifts just like watercolor would, but I don't think it fully erases. It's been a long time since I've handled it, so I can't quite recall. It's probably not the best idea. No. I'd say just just let it let it do its thing. Oh, and look at your color palette too. It's like so pretty. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's just got you got a rainbow there. Yeah. Love it. So fun. Um, one other thing that I want to mention about the carnival box. Um, I double checked this before going live tonight. The box that it's coming in, like the physical watercolor snacks box, mm -hmm. is going to be slightly bigger than it usually is. Oh. I don't even know if I told you that. I I think I might recall that, but it it got a little bit lost in the shuffle. Yeah. Um, um the surface that's going to be in the box um is like slightly too big for our normal box size. So we ordered a bigger box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you get your box next week and you're like, why is it so big? It's because there's a bigger surface in there. So awesome. It'll be a nice little surprise, a little treat. <laughs> um, so you're not just getting the tubes, uh, not the tubes. You're not just getting the, um, the watercolor bottles. You're getting um, the art graph water soluble pencil. 
And there's a couple other products in that box that are water soluble. Mm -hmm. Um, but you'll just have to wait and see. Um, while we are wrapping up here, I do want to open it to questions. Um, and I do see the first one, when, when does it ship about a week or so? So the carnival box is going to ship the first week of May, which, um, I don't have a calendar in front of me, but I'm pretty sure that's next week. So there are three days left to sign up for the carnival box. I mentioned that on Thursday updates today, but I wanted to reiterate that we've got three days from now. Yay. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's going to be such a fun box. Um, We've got four live streams scheduled uh, with Brie to bring you through a bunch of different projects. Um, Brie, do you think all of them will be carnival themed or will some of them be different? What do you think? I, I, I like to do at least one that's on theme. But okay. I I don't think all of them are going to be carnival. I think that there's definitely going to be some variety because I feel like it's it's just a very bright palette. And we're in, we're about like this week, it started to feel like spring, like we the mm. weather is warming up. So there's, this palette brings a lot of opportunity for very springtime things. And I, I really curate it. I always ask in the group, what are some things that you like, you are like, want to learn more about with this box? And mm-hmm. I pull inspiration from what you guys suggest or ask about because I want to be bringing what you guys want to learn as Excellent. much as possible. Yeah. Love that. Um, I love that you ask people what they want to make, which mm-hmm. is always nice. Um, anybody else have any questions? You can drop them in the chat. I have access to the chat so I can see what everyone is saying. Um, feel free to ask any questions. Um, I'm very excited about this box. It's going to be really pretty. Um, And like the perfect way to bring in like spring and summer for that matter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like a perfect segue into there. I'm also curious how long the bottles are going to last me. (laughs) You know what? I know a tube can last a while. Let's just say even last year, because last year during the winter box, we featured some liquid watercolors. Mm -hmm. I didn't even make a dent in my bottles. Like with all the tests and all the teachings and and stuff like that, I didn't even make a dent. So I think they're going to last just as long. Oh, that's great news. Okay. That's really good to know. I mean, uh, if you, if you're squirting full drops, full droppers into the wells, then yes, you're probably going to run out real fast. (laughs) But if you just use like a drop at a time, it's going to last you forever. Got it. Okay. Good to know. Um, Let's see. Uh, If there's no other questions, I do want to make one other announcement. Um, And that is right after this, we're going to take like a 10 minute break and we're going to pass it over to the next live stream, which is Open Studio with Amelia. Um, She is going to be taking over and doing, I think she's doing um, an April box unboxing. You know, she's been saving it for the last week of April, basically. This guy's so much so more self control than I do. I know, same. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's what she decided on doing. So it's going to be another hour of art. Um, and Brie, if people want to follow you on Instagram or anything like that, where can we reach you? Yes, you can reach me at Dread Pirate Brie. I've got a tag here. Yeah. There it is. Spelled just how it sounds, but the Brie is with an I, no E. There is no E in Brie. Yeah, you're not a cheese. No, exactly. <laughs> I refuse to go by Brie for the longest time for that reason, but it's just, it works now. Amazing. I'm trying to see if I have a tag for me, and I don't think I do. Or maybe I do. Um, if you want to join Art Snacks Mix, you can find out more at mix.artsnacks.co. Oh, here I am. Oh, yay! This is so old. This is from like <laughs> pandemic days. This is from, I think I made this during COVID. No, not COVID. Um, Marabou. Marabou streams. Ah, yeah. nice. Yours looks so much more professional than mine does. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be awesome. on brand. <laughs> Very on brand. So yeah, feel free to follow us on Instagram for more arts updates. Um, and I don't have one that says Art Snacks, but you're on the Art Snacks YouTube channel. So you know where to find us. Yeah. (laughs) Awesome. So I am going to, um, yeah, I'm going to flip the camera back so you can see my face. Brie, feel free to do that if you'd like. I will. Hello. Here we go. 
the sun has finally set, so it's a little bit darker in here. We still have the sun here. <laughs> awesome. Um, so I am just going to say thank you for everyone watching. Bree, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, and yeah, I hope to do this again soon. And everyone, hang tight. Take a bathroom break. Get a snack. Because next up is Open Studio with Amelia. All right. Awesome. Nice to see you, Brie. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.